So piracy, we're putting two, over $200 million a year of advertising spend in the pocket of thieves. And that creates billions of dollars in harm to content creators. And then they go out and they promulgate malware and take over people's computers. Millions of computers getting stitched together into botnets. That, that costs consumers more than $2 billion a year. And, and then, of course, they drive that traffic back to that website where they put the stolen content on. And then they commit ad fraud. They put ads on that website and the checks start coming. And now we're putting more dollars into the criminal's pockets. That's obviously a problem. We'll talk a little more about that. It's been a busy first six months for TAG. That's because we've brought the industry together. Marketers, agencies, media companies, platforms, ad technology coming together. In February, we had a major launch of our anti-piracy program, launched with great fanfare from the industry, from content creators. Uh, we are doing that today in the fraud space. But what are we doing for the industry? And we're creating a SEAL program. You all sort of have seen this in the marketplace in a number of ways. You know what it means when you see the good housekeeping seal of approval. You mean, that's a company I want to do business with. I have some trust that it, they're a reputable company. I'm not going to be defrauded. And that's what we have to do with TAG. And we're going to do that in a number of ways. You have your fictitious digital ad co. And it's pretty good if you go out and you get your TAG anti-fraud seal. One program is good. One program is good, two programs are better. Now I know that my partner is, is going to be reputable, not only on the traffic that they generate, uh, but also that they're protecting content, including my content that I create. I certainly don't want to be associated with the distribution of malware. We know if somebody goes to a website, a consumer, and they believe that malware infected their computer, from that website, the likelihood of them going back to that site is pretty low. Or if they think then an ad gave, uh, just, uh, infected their computer, the brand integrity there is going to be immense. And so, of course, and then we also just talk about general certification. We are developing a registration program at TAG. And collectively, what we want to do is we want to create a safe zone for the $50 billion US digital advertising supply chain so that marketers are confident that they're not putting money into the, into the pockets of criminals, that their brand is not being associated with this criminal activity, and then they are not being defrauded for billions of dollars. And that's really what we're here to talk about today is, is ad fraud and how we've come together to, to try to combat it. So I'm going to ask Jim to talk to us a little bit about um, ad fraud and what it means to AOL and what it means to the industry. Great. Thank you, Mike. And uh, Mike and I originally were going to sit down, but uh, this issue is so important that this is not a sit down, lean back issue. And when you look at the numbers, you can understand how this is affecting everybody in the room. Uh, $6.3 billion dollars uh, is what ad fraud is costing marketers today. So let's, let's put that number into context. $6.3 billion. That's enough to buy every single Super Bowl ad for the next 17 years. It is more than the combined annual profits of the 10 largest global agencies. And then lastly, if you were to rob every bank in the United States, you'd have to do it nine times to get to $6.3 billion. So this is a major, major issue. And uh, honestly, this is an issue that is holding back the entire industry. Uh, this is an industry that trades on trust. And when you see statistics like this, there is inherent distrust. So it's one of the reasons why AOL has become so involved in the TAG initiative. And, and, and the way that we're, uh, we are looking at fraud and, uh, and the whole issue of trust is really threefold. Um, it's got to start with people. Uh, not only the people internally at your own company, but ensuring that people on the other end of the URL are actually humans. So one of the things that we do, it's always, it, it's, it's a phone call. It's not a fictitious PO box where we are, uh, and, and AOL is a company that represents 
thousands of publishers in our advertising network, uh, but making sure that there are actually people on the other side of that. It's establishing a set of internal and external technology. So uh, we've got our own uh, internal mechanisms for detecting fraud, detecting bot traffic, but we're also working with a host of third parties and getting feedback from them. And then finally, it's establishing a set of policies and procedures that we can use internally to make sure we're following proper procedures when we're onboarding new, uh, new publishers to represent. So uh, it's, a, it's a huge, huge uh, important component to what we're doing with our partners. And predominantly because as AOL, we, you know, we trade on a legacy of trust. We trade on a legacy of premium. And any small amount that takes away from that has dramatic effect on the AOL brand and our ability to service marketers. Um, and, and the other thing that we've seen is, you know, as AOL has expanded and as the industry has expanded beyond the, the, the days of buttons and banners, you can see where bought ad, bought ad impression inventory is coming from. Uh, digital video is a huge issue right now. We're just coming off a very, very successful new front season where uh, there were dozens of companies in the space promoting premium. Nobody's promoting false traffic. Um, that is the excitement within the industry, is the premium content that's being promoted. However, it's being hampered by the fact that 62% of those impressions are, are coming from uh, fraudulent sources. Uh, you go down the list and it's, uh, you know, third-party sourced ads, certainly retargeted ads, all the way down to display ads. So, you know, e display ads, even at 11%, that's a huge, huge issue that all of us in the industry need to combine uh, to help combat. So um, kudos to TAG for taking on this initiative as, a, as an industry consortium to get this done. We at AOL certainly appreciate it. So.